with these ancient prayers for peace and my special love for His Excellency Vishal Mehta, I reach out to all of you. I know personally I very much wanted to be there, but I'm there in spirit and celebrate this momentous moment. I've seen Vishal as a child and then grow into a dynamic youth and a successful businessman. But overall, he's become a proud Indian citizen. And I feel extremely elated on this day when so many of your friends, officers, ministers, who have come together to be a part of this moment where you are becoming a diplomat. While life changes and the world changes, with great power comes great responsibility. Especially for the country you represent and in a country that you call home. I want to emphasize one fact that His Holiness Pramukh Swami Maharaj has always said, that if you keep focusing on yourself, then you gain nothing. But when you focus on the idea that in the joy of others lies our own, then you gain everything. As a diplomat, your responsibility will be to create as much goodness as you can, to as many people as you can, in as many ways as you can, as long as you can. So to develop relationships and to sustain the spirit of goodness, we must all raise everything that we do on three things. Truth, transparency, and trust. While all of us value truth, how transparent are we? And when you are truthful and transparent, can you generate trust? So your goal in life should become the one that generates goodness and trust in everyone that you meet. In the words of Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, whom he said he learned something from His Holiness Prabhupada Swami, whom he called his guru, that he always focused on what can I give? Can I give a simple smile to the child to make his world a little better? Can I give? a little guidance to the youth to make his life better. 
Can I contribute to the nation and make the nation smile? So we shall, from today onwards, of course, you are a son of somebody, a father of somebody, a husband to somebody, a friend to so many, and a colleague of somebody. But now you represent a nation. So bring a smile to that nation and make India proud and all your family members proud. I pray for your health and your future and all the great things that are in store in times to come. My deepest prayers and may all the blessings of the world be upon you and all the people who are present at this moment. Jai Swami. Ladies and gentlemen of our office, Pankaj Transport. The grand unveiling of our office, ladies and gentlemen. Excellency Isa Abdullahi Osama. Yeah, okay, so now he is going to open. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, for His Excellency Vishal Mehta, sir. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to begin by thanking our esteemed guests present on the dais, Sri Sarbananda Sonaruji. Sri E. Mugidharanji, His Excellency Isa Abdullahi, Sri Vinod Tavdeji, Sri Ashish Jahanji, diplomats, other dignitaries, family and friends for being here today. I am deeply honored to accept the appointment as the Honorary Consul of the Republic of Djibouti, for which I would like to express my gratitude to President Ismail Omar Kule. Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Muhammad Ali Yusufi, Ambassador of Djibouti in India, for their confidence in entrusting me with the important responsibility. I would also like to thank the Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India, for accepting my appointment as Honorary Consul of Djibouti in Maharashtra, Mumbai. My very first visit to Djibouti was in the year 2013 and that was a time, like many of you, even I used to call it the Djibouti, so the pronunciation is Djibouti and not the Djibouti. So that is the time I first went to Djibouti to explore business potential and business partners. It has been 11 years I have been doing successful business with Djibouti with frequent trips to Djibouti. I have witnessed the transformation from an emerging regional player to becoming a hub along one of the world's busiest shipping lines. Djibouti has established itself as a major transshipment and refueling station. Furthermore, despite being the third smallest country in mainland of Africa, the country plays a crucial role in maintaining international peace by hosting eight military bases United States of America, United Kingdom, China.